Have you ever been a victim of bullying? Perhaps you were on the opposite side and you've hurt someone else before. Welcome to my channel Style Gaming. I know I'm normally a gaming channel, but I felt so compelled to make a video about bullying and its harmful effects. Bullying not only happens in our everyday lives, but it also happens in our gaming communities. We're always online, let's face it. But how do we fight those cyber bullies and trolls? I wanted to make this video to help you guys recognize what bullying is and teach you how to prevent bullying. So stay tuned. So what is bullying? Bullying is when a person or a group of people continuously cause harm to another individual who often aren't able to avoid being a target. Bullying can include hitting, damaging another's personal belongings, insulting, teasing, intimidation, excluding, lying and spreading rumours to damage reputation. Cyberbullying can involve sending people mean texts or creating harmful posts including images and videos about an individual and imitating others online. What happens when someone is bullied? There are many harmful and serious consequences both for the target and the bully. Bullying can affect a person's grades and or work ethic, influence their decision making, eating and sleeping schedules, and damage their self-esteem, mental health, and childhood as they grow up. Sometimes this can cause self-harm and drug abuse at a younger age. For the bully, it can feed their ego and make them feel better about themselves, as well as have a very negative influence on the people who witness bullying. People catch on thinking it's funny or cool or right to bully others. It is not acceptable behavior and I want to shed light on how serious this is. It can also cause a cycle of the bully needing to bring others down to make them feel better. This can affect how the bully treats others in their future relationships and friendships. I want to discuss cyberbullying and its toxic effects. Being in a generation where technology and social media are so abundant, it's important to address how toxic and frequent cyberbullying is. It's so easy for keyboard warriors and cyberbullies to attack easy targets behind a screen. They have no face, but they can use their words to hurt others, and they can say whatever they want and feel unstoppable. Would they feel brave enough to say it to your face? It is very disheartening to think that there are people like this in the world who get off on hurting people, and the sad thing is, age doesn't have anything to do with it. It's their maturity level and their lack of open-mindedness. There are sensitive people or those who already struggle with mental health issues who aren't able to stand up for themselves or they take the hit a little harder than others. Remember, everyone behind the screen is just another human with real feelings. Even the strongest people have bad days. Even the bullies have feelings. How does the bully feel? Sometimes the bully might have some serious underlying issues. Some bullies have been hurt or have something going on in their lives that make them this way. Before you lash back at a bully, understand that there might be a bigger picture. Let's take a look at the troubled childhood or perhaps family issues at home. There are so many factors that could make someone want to attack and harass another person. Maybe the bully has been a victim of bullying themselves and now they want to attack someone else. Maybe they have had their heart broken too many times or maybe they do not receive any love and support from their family and friends. These factors can make someone feel angry, left out and make them want to attack someone so they can take the pain out on someone else or feel some sort of attention and reciprocation. In some cases, the bully might have seen this happen before and learned this behavior. Why do people bully? Bullying comes in many forms and for different reasons. 
Bullying can happen because the bully is scared, jealous, wants to feel the power, or is simply bored, clueless, and having a laugh just because it makes them feel good. They may not even feel any empathy for the victim that they're bullying. They may feel a need for the attention they don't have, so they lash out to hurt someone just to get that attention. Bullying can be very dangerous when it comes in groups. Let's say you have a bully who is the leader. The leader starts bullying and all the friends of the bully start laughing and joining in. Some who join in are completely unaware that they are in fact bullying someone, not merely having a laugh. It's all just fun and games to you. But always think about what you're saying and how your actions and words can affect someone. I really want to talk about this topic because I see so many kids join in on these kinds of things completely unaware of what they're really doing. Don't be in the wrong crowd at the wrong time. You can make a choice to stand against bullies or tell your friend, hey, I don't think we should be treating him or her like that. Or you should leave your toxic friendship group and report the bullying to a teacher or someone of authority who can stop it and separate the toxic group. Bullying is a topic to be discussed seriously and handled maturely. We do not respond to violence with violence. Good solutions are to assess the why and then separate the bully from the toxicity. Maybe they need to stop hanging out with their toxic group of friends and find a new hobby. If you are a victim of bullying, let's work together to stop bullying in its tracks. Now I actually made a post about this a really long time ago because I felt so strongly about this topic and now I'm bringing it right back. I'm bringing it back because, you know, this means so much to me. I really want to push this out to you guys because you need to really absorb this information that I'm giving you. You need to stand up for yourself. Okay, so stand up for yourself. Do not retaliate with hate or violence. One of the most powerful things you could do to a bully is to not respond to them and ignore them completely. Change your mentality. Try thinking like this. Hey bully, guess what? You can't even hurt me. You can't even touch me. You are a coward hiding behind a screen with a mask of your own insecurities and I am not letting you mess with me. Do not follow hate accounts that bully people. This will only motivate them to continue hating on people. Report them straight away under harassment and bullying. If they are a friend of yours, I would suggest talking to them first. And if they don't stop, perhaps it's time to dump them. You do not want a friend who spreads negativity because it is not okay to hate on people and make people's lives miserable and toxicity by shutting it out of your life. If you are being bullied or you see someone being bullied, do not hesitate to stop the bullying in a sensible manner. Whether it is asking the bully to kindly stop because you don't like it or telling your friend to leave or block the bully and telling a teacher, a leader, a manager or someone of authority about it as soon as possible. Be the bigger person. In your heart, in your mind, you are so much stronger than you think. So how do you stand up to bullies and how do you prepare for their reactions? Not everyone is able to stand up for themselves. It might feel risky to say something back. The most important thing is to always stand your ground, make strong points about why they are bullying you, and tell them to stop and leave you alone. Never, ever attack the bully with anything negative that can be used against you because it will only cause more pain. Don't become a bully while you defend yourself. Change starts with you. You make a choice to be better than the bully, so do not fall into a vicious cycle of hurting each other. My personal approach is to never fight fire with fire. You don't always have to respond. Sometimes you can simply block or delete a user and their comment on social media or mute the user in game. 
I can understand it would be really hard to ignore a harsh comment and not want to at least explain your side of the argument or bite back. But here's some advice. You don't always have to fight. You get to choose your fights. You get to tell yourself not today and ignore the fights that aren't worth it. Think about all the time you could have saved if you didn't acknowledge and interact with a bully. You might be saving hours, days, even weeks of toxicity. That time is better spent on other things, like making a video about bullying that might actually help others who need it. If you are a bully, Bullies need to take a step back and think about how they are affecting innocent people who are just being themselves. Do something meaningful and worth your time, things that add value to your life. Spend time with good people who have a good influence on you, people who genuinely make you a better version of yourself. If you've fallen down a hole of negativity, look at your friendship group. Maybe it's time to do some spring cleaning. You can get attention in a much more positive way. Share yourself with the world. Create things. Join a sports team or a club. Be part of a good community. Find friends who will give you that attention. If you don't click with them or you don't get the attention you need, keep moving to the next group until you find a solid group. Trust me, there is somebody out there for everyone. And it's okay to feel like you don't belong somewhere. Just know that there is a home for you, and you will find it when the time comes. Just don't find comfort with the wrong crowd, because if you get stuck with bad people, you will only learn to be like them, and that will hurt you. That is not something you want. So I ask you this. Are you a bully? And if you are, what are you really hoping to achieve with this? You can be kind to people and receive an even better reaction. And you'll have way better friends that will support you till the end of time. Bullying brings down your respect. Gone are the days where bullies were cool. The most attractive people are the ones who want to be high achievers, who want to keep striving for the best. People are attracted to those kinds of people because of the positive energy that they project. Be a hardworking, supportive, enthusiastic, kind and positive person and I promise you good things will always come to you. If you're a bully or you've just realized that you've participated in bullying, it might not be too late to right your wrongs and apologize to the victim. Remember, you can do better today, better than you did yesterday. How to be strong on the inside out. Sometimes people are going to want to tear you down. You have to be immune to them and keep on growing and moving forward. One day you'll be strong enough to even show them kindness in return, no matter how badly they hurt you. You try and show them kindness. That is a strength that not everyone has. It takes courage to look a bully in the eye and give them flowers. But forgiveness is the key to finding peace within yourself. That is the necessary step to being good to people. We are supposed to be there for each other. Not everyone sees it that way, but slowly you can make a positive impact just by doing the little things you do. Remember that your mental health is the most important thing. Tell yourself whatever you need to help you get through the bullying. Keep a strong head about it, and remember these reassuring points. The bigger person. If people try to bring you down, it's because you are above them. The bigger picture. This is bigger than you. Maybe they have problems going on in their lives and they're acting out. It's unfortunate that their actions have led to bullying, but have faith that someday they'll grow up and realize what they've done. The truth sets you free. Bullies who deliberately try to bring you down often have to make up false things just to hurt you. Sometimes they're not even true. Stay absolutely true to yourself no matter what. You know you're none of those nasty things that they're saying you are. And you have to keep telling yourself that and believe in yourself. 
Never let the bully's words get in your head. Support is all around you. If you need any support, talk to your friends who can give you some comfort. If it's gotten too much for you, perhaps it is time to seek professional help and talk to a therapist. Don't be afraid to reach out to people when you need a shoulder to lean on or guidance from someone. There are hotlines you can call for free and people who can assist you and give you the counselling you need. Simply search this up on Google. Hotlines for bullying and all your national hotlines will show up. This is the most important reassuring fact that always gets me through the hard times. I want you to remember this for the rest of your life. We are all different. We are all unique. We all like different things. The truth is, we may not always get along with each other because different personalities clash. But what we can do is try to work with each other and be respectful of each other. You don't have to like someone if you can't, but you must always respect them. I can make peace with the fact that there might be a bunch of people who dislike me or my voice or my designs. I've seen comments like, I don't like her, I hate her, I hate her voice, I hate her designs, she's not even that good, she's annoying. That's totally okay dudes, you do you boo. You don't have to like my work, you don't have to like my style. I'm doing me and I'm happy with what I do. So I'm going to continue being myself and loving my work and putting all my passion into it. That is how you stay true to yourself. And that is my best method in keeping a strong mentality whenever someone tries to attack me and say they hate me or what I do. There will always be people that come into your life to bring their pain and destruction. You can make a choice to shut that out. You can make a choice to be a stronger person. You won't be strong every day. Sometimes you'll slip, but it doesn't mean that you won't stand up again. There will be people who want to tear you down. I have felt it myself over and over again. It's okay not to be a rock 24 seven. I'm human, I have real feelings, but I have so much faith in myself that I become stronger with each hit, each person that attacks, each person that tries to bring me down. I am a better version of myself today than I was yesterday. And every single person is capable of changing for the better. Bullying is a serious issue. Bullying is not a joke. Bullying can be stopped. It starts with you. Love and care for each other. I hope this video has made an impact on you, whether you're a victim, a bully, or a bystander. Please know that there's always somebody to talk to, so don't ever feel afraid to reach out. We have to build each other up, not tear each other down. It is my duty and my mission to raise awareness and give confidence to my friends and followers. I love you guys so much. If you enjoyed this video or you learned something new, please give the video a thumbs up and let me know what you think in the comments below. And subscribe to my channel if you'd like to see more videos from me. You can check out my merch by clicking on the link in the description below. And for those of you who are new to my channel, I play an awesome 3D online role-playing game called Hotel Hideaway, where I've used my avatar with my friends to roleplay some bullying to help illustrate what it is and how we can prevent it together. You can download the game by tapping on the link in the description below and join me in my rooms. Just search up style to find me. And remember guys, stay safe online and be good to each other. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys next time.